In this video, I'm going to show you my stock portfolio, which ETFs and stocks I invest in, how much profit I have gotten and how I handle losses. Hi everyone, my name is Mohamed Essen and I think it's been almost six months since my last portfolio update. I think I made it in January where I showed you my whole stock portfolio. A lot of things have changed in the last six months. Uh, my biggest holdings have changed and so have my profits. Overall, I have invested in 49 individual stocks and four ETFs. Out of these 49 stocks and four ETFs, 13 holdings make up about 80% of my entire portfolio. So in this video, I'll be just talking about these 13 different holdings, four ETFs and nine individual stocks. But before I continue, I would really appreciate if you hit the like button. It only takes a second and lets me know that you're appreciating my hard work. Each month I invest 750 euros and this investment varies from month to month. So for example, in the month of June, I will be investing only in the four ETFs that I have. So within my whole portfolio, 40% of the whole value is made up of these four ETFs. I think I want to bring this percentage up to 50% as it will take a little bit less time for me to manage my whole portfolio. As you should know that individual stocks are very dangerous and if you do not actively look into your investments, always going to be a probability that you are going to lose all of your money. Recently, I haven't had that much time to look into my individual investments that's why i'm trying to bring this percentage up to 50 percent this said most of my bigger holdings are not in very small companies which fluctuate a lot and i don't think they'll lose all of their value if i don't look at them for a week or a month but the smaller holdings which are focused on growth they do fluctuate a lot in my last update my biggest holding was plug power which reached almost 60 euros back in february but since then um, the growth stocks have been hit a lot so has the information technology sector. Uh, they have recovered a little bit, but unfortunately, Plug Power has not regained a lot. And it is at about 19 euros, which is far away from its peak. But I did buy and sell some of the stocks that I had. Previously, I had 22 stocks. Now I have 25. But my average buying cost has increased as I did buy and sell a few times for this stock. Looking at my ETFs, the biggest holding right now is S&P 500 information technology sector. That is at about 11.5%. Then comes the core S&P 500, which is at about 9.23%. Then come the core MSCI World and core MSCI World Emerging Markets. Both are at about 8%. Then come my individual stocks. At the moment, my biggest individual stock is Ford Motor Company. Ford has grown a lot in the past couple of months since they announced that they will be ramping up, investing more in the electric vehicles. And with Ford, I have about 87% profit. Then comes Nokia at 6.1%. Back in December, I think um, Nokia was involved in the short squeeze along with AMC and GameStop. It did reach about 5 euros, but then it came down around 3 3.5 euros but right now it's at about 4.41 euros per stock i am a big believer in nokia they are a really great company right now they're focusing on 5g and uh, within europe i think they are the biggest 5g company out there and they do have a lot of projects in the works and i do believe in their future then i have apple at 4.89 percent um, Apple has been going sideways since the past couple of weeks. Um, they didn't announce much hardware-wise in WWDC 2021. People were expecting some hardware to be announced by them. The software updates that they have announced are amazing, but as I said, people were expecting some hardware, so that's why it's going sideways since the past couple of months. Then comes Tesla. Well, Tesla has not been performing very well in the short term, but they have a lot in the works their gigafactory in germany is underway so once that is complete they will have another manufacturing plant where they can actually increase their production that will be very helpful for the growth of the company as they will be able to deliver more and more cars then comes amd at 4.7 percent amd has been crushing it since 2015. their epic processor for data centers has been increasing in popularity and in general people can actually get more products from different oems as these oems are actually integrating amd processors in their hardware after that comes coca-cola at 4.5 percent coca-cola as you know is a great dividend stock and uh, its value doesn't increase that much but as a solid dividend stock coca-cola is a very stabilizing factor in my portfolio then is luck power at around four percent i remember it being at 11.7 percent back in january and its drop in value is the main reason that it's at four percent from eleven percent 
I think it will come back but only time can tell. Then I have workhorse at about 3.5% and this has been my biggest loser since the past couple of months. The stock price dropped 4 months ago because of USPS gave an order of about half a billion dollars worth of trucks to a rival of workhorse and this order was supposed to go to workhorse it didn't go that's why investors said it's time to leave and they just sold the stock and the stock value just came down crashing however according to some reports workhorse group is intending to apply for appeal for this usps contract and if they do manage to win it, they will be getting approximately $6 billion in the time frame of 10 years. But these are just rumors and just reports. So only time will tell how they react, how the company handles and if they do apply for an appeal. And lastly, I have Coinbase at about 3%. Coinbase has been fluctuating a lot. And as it is a cryptocurrency exchange, it is most likely tied with the value of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. And crypto has been hit very badly in the past month so obviously the stock value for coinbase is also uh, going down and also fluctuating because of this reason but in the long term i think the value of coinbase will go very very high as i do believe that the future is associated with cryptocurrency in one way or another but this said at the moment i am at a loss of 2.3 percent with coinbase and the other 40 stocks that make up about 20 percent of my stock portfolio value they are at a profit of 27 percent if you want me to make a video on those stocks just let me know in the comments below here is a summary of my whole stock portfolio here i'm using google sheets there are other very good softwares or web apps available but they are usually paid and i prefer to just make my own spreadsheet so that i can do whatever i want to do with that uh, and it's not very difficult and if you want to know how i've made this excel sheet just let me know in the comments below and I'll make a video on this topic as well. Hope you like this video. If you have any questions, you can write them down in the comments below. If you're interested in watching my previous stock update, you can watch it here. And if you want to know how to get started with investing in cryptocurrency, you can watch this video here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bleib gesund.